Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve problem 85 of chapter 16. The conveyor belt is moving to the right at velocity of 12 foot per second. And at the same instant, the cylinder is rolling counterclockwise 6 radian per second, while its center has a velocity of 4 foot per second to the left. So we have the velocity of the, of the center to the left. Determine the velocity of point A and B on the disk at this instant. So if so, omega is in that direction, velocity of B would be in that direction, velocity of A would be in this direction. Does the cylinder slip on the conveyor or not? So in addition to the velocity of A and B, V, B and V, A, we need to see whether the cylinder slip on the conveyor or not. For that, we need to compare VA, the velocity at the point of contact, to V, the velocity of the conveyor belt. And if the velocities are the same, it means that there is pure rolling and there is no slipping. And if the velocities are not the same, means there is slipping. So to solve this problem, we can use two methods. We can use IC method, instantaneous center of zero velocity, or the conventional relative velocity. We're going to solve this problem using both methods. First, let's start with the new topic, IC. So to, to find the location of IC, we need to know the velocity at uh, two points, the direction of velocity at two points. Here we know the like direction of velocity at three points actually. So here, velocity at A, velocity at C, if we draw a perpendicular line, the intersection would be somewhere between here. But we don't know. That's when the two velocities are parallel to each other. Then the IC will locate between the two velocities. So we really can't determine the location of IC by just knowing the directions for this problem. We need to know the actual velocity as well. Well, we know the velocity of C and the velocity of C is simply R IC to C, this distance. That would be our R, I, C, to C. And uh, omega. And we have, we know omega, we know velocity at C, we can find this distance. So R, I, C, with respect to C, I can write it this velocity at C, which the question has given me to be four, divided by omega, which is six. So that would be two over three. So the radius is one foot and then two thirds of that would be from the center of zero velocity to to point C. So now I know the location of RIC, then I can find the velocity at any other location. The points of interest are VA and VB. So let's find VA. VA is R A with respect to IC omega. And I'm just writing the scalar formulation because I can see the direction of uh, velocity here. So if this would be two thirds and the whole thing is one foot, so that would be one third of omega, so it would be two feet per second. And I know the direction would be to the right and VB, so we can write direction as well. VB, BRB to IC omega, all of them are rotating with the same omega. After we find IC, then we can find the velocity at any 
points of interest. So that would be, we have one foot here and then two thirds over there. So five thirds or would be a distance times six. You give me 10 feet per second. So I found velocity at A, velocity at B. And if I compare velocity at A, which is two feet per second to V, which is 10, which is 12, I know the velocities are not the same. So point A is actually sliding on the conveyor belt simply because the two velocities are not the same. So that using uh, IC method, we said that we can solve this problem by using relative velocity approach as well. Let's use that to see if we get the same answer. We wanna find a velocity at B and velocity at A and we know the velocity at C. So let's use that velocity at B would be velocity at C plus VB with respect to C. I can write VC which is negative four I plus VBC is omega cross R, B with respect to C. Omega here is six, it's counterclockwise, so it's positive. So six K cross R, B, C means from C to B. So that would be one and is in J direction. So that's negative four I, let's see, negative four I and K times J will give me a negative answer. So that's negative six I, and I already have four I, so that would be negative 10 I, which is the same as what we found here, 10 feet per second. So I can use velocity at A, velocity at C, V, A with respect to C. I can use the same approach to find a velocity at A. Velocity at C is negative four I. Omega again is a positive value. So six K. The only difference is that R A C here is negative J. So this component would give me positive i. So negative four i plus positive six i will give me two i, but in the positive direction, which is the same as what we found here. When we are introducing a new method, sometimes uh, we are more comfortable with the previous method, but it's important to learn both methods and then depending on the problem, uh, we can decide which methods to use. So I encourage you to use the IC uh, method, even though you might be comfortable with the method that you have already solved many problems with.